Spock, I have a broken filling. Are you going to report to sick bay, Captain? Permission to speak freely, Jim? Of course. Dr. McCoy will surely have the auto dock replace the broken filling with a mercury amalgam one, so? That's the kind I have which just broke, in this start date. How did you get that filling? Bones put me in the auto dock then too. The scientific experts in Starfleet have been recommending mercury-based fillings for five centuries. If they say that mercury in the mouth is safe and effective, then you can bet that is so. Even though those same experts have also told us for five centuries that mercury everywhere else is really toxic? I'm the ship's science officer. It seems to me that according to the experts, one of the few safe places in the universe to store mercury is in people's teeth. That is illogical. You really mean that, Spock? Yes, Captain. Science is about verifiable evidence and experts. But whenever the two disagree, verifiable evidence wins. I think I get it. But why do the Starfleet scientists claim that science has proven the safety of mercury in dental amalgam? That is one of the great mysteries of the universe, Captain. Tell me, Mr. Spock, how do they fix cavities on Vulcan? Vulcans don't get cavities, huh? The pleasure of overindulging in sugar doesn't motivate us. We brush and floss. Not to do so is illogical. Do Vulcan teeth ever break? Of course, Captain. Accidents happen. Go on, Mr. Spock. Centuries ago we used to repair them with composite resin or milled porcelain. By the mid-21st century we learned just to remove the remains of the broken tooth and cause a new tooth to grow in. We are all due for shore leave on Vulcan in a few days. Do you think you could arrange for Bones to become unavailable at that time? If so, it seems to me, I would then have to resort to the ministrations of a Vulcan dental therapist. Consider it done, Captain.